Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel. And, um, well, we're going to talk about sensitivity. And um, it's interesting because sensitivity is a side of radios that is maybe not as talked about today, and there's a reason why. Not because radios are all sensitive equal. They're not. Um, you know, in my videos, I often will just say if you have a good portable they're all pretty much sensitive in the same, roughly in the same level, because they're pushed to the maximum of their capabilities today. But it's not entirely true in a environment where you would have absolutely no noise. So what does sensitivity mean? It means at the basics, the ability of a radio of getting the faintest signal possible. So how strong must a signal be before your radio can detect it? That's sensitivity. And in an environment where the noise floor would be zero, where there would absolutely be no noise, we probably could see from all the radios that I play with all the time that there's a variety and a different sensitivity level on each of them and we would easily see which one are more sensitive than others. But I don't talk about it much. Why? Because none of us are using the radios in the environment of zero noise. We could be in a low noise environment where, yes, sensitivity might show a little bit, but most of us are living in high noise environments. So, you know, sensitivity uh, for the small difference that there is between different portables, in general, we won't talk about it because, anyways, the signal needs to be strong enough to overpower something else, and which is the noise that we have. So it needs to be strong enough anyways. And we can cope with some radios being a little less sensitive. I've talked about, for example, the C-Crane CC Skywave SSB, less sensitive than the XHD D808 and some of the reception that I had with telescopic. And... You might think, oh, well, that's a big problem, a big issue. I want to buy a C-Crane. You know what? For me, it would not be much of a big issue for a simple reason. You can clip a piece of wire to it and extend that telescopic, make it longer with a piece of wire, which will improve the amount of signal, which would make the signals come through anyway. Um, that is as simple as that. Uh, you know, we talk about um, one of the aspects we talk of, of one of the radios that's been very popular over the years in the different versions, the uh, St. Jean ATS-909. So the St. Jean ATS-909X and 909 Original are technically a little deaf. We often say they're deaf on telescopic. Is that big a, a big of a problem? You know what? If you're on telescopic only, it could. But in general, and just the everyday usage and putting an outdoor antenna, it doesn't matter that much, honestly. Um, with an external antenna or a piece of wire, you're going to achieve a level of reception that's decent enough to be okay. And, you know, um, you're probably going to hear everything that everybody else hears with a good antenna anyways. But, you know, there are differences. We see them in these radios. So I don't go crazy about sensitivity that much these days because if you buy anything that is worth buying, uh, that we talk about on this channel, and of course that you might see on other reviews. You know what? It's fine. You're gonna get a good radio. It's gonna be sensitive enough to get whatever you want. And like I said, with the noise floor we have today, sensitivity. We you know don't go crazy over the numbers of sensitivity. There was one comment on the channel. Well, you know, I don't like your channel. You don't have numbers to show us. Who cares about numbers? First of all, numbers mean nothing because numbers can be made in your favor or can lie. So I'm sorry, but when I see numbers of, oh, this gets you know 0.3 microvolts of, I don't care. Yeah, compared to what and how did you test it? Because um, I see so much playing around with the settings and playing around with the radios and the electronics and the equipment and a way to favor your numbers that I don't care about numbers. I care about what I hear when I listen to a radio. And that's way more interesting because that is a real-world test. 
Do I hear the same signal on six different radios? Well, they're all good. Do I have one that doesn't receive it? Well, that one looks to be, you know, less sensitive than the others in real world tests. So don't look at numbers. They don't mean that much. And I rarely look at sens sensitivity numbers, even um, looking at, you know, like the numbers that will go with um, bandwidth filters and all of that. I, uh, I have a hard time. Companies can play with these numbers way too much in their favor and try to enhance and make a radio look better than it actually is in reality. And we've seen that so many times, not just with radios, with a lot of electronic devices around. So uh, don't go too overly crazy with sensitivity. Most radios today are very sensitive. Uh, there are other things to worry about and some that we'll talk here in, uh, in different videos. So in general, choosing a good radio, it's sensitive enough. It's going to be fine. Don't worry. Uh, most radios that are not sensitive are really the bottom line, the cheapest, cheapest of all that either have way too much noise or way just receive nothing or really bad. There's a lot of them out there, by the way, in the very low, um, you know, $20, $30 mark. Got to be careful. But when you start buying something decent at the $50 plus level, you start getting good radios. And it's very amazing today what you're getting for the price compared to what we paid for in the 80s for a same radio. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.